How's it going? Kim here again, Papa's fix it job. I got a, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm retired, but I still have boss. So I've got a 10 foot piece of two and a half OD receiver tube. It's kind of what you make the receiver hitches on a vehicle out of. And it's 10 feet long. Kind of give you an idea how enormous my little shop is. Then I have, I've got a couple of sticks, a 10 foot sticks of this two inch OD. And since receiver tubing is a seamless tubing, this two inch OD, um, it's like 90 thousandths or something thick, almost 100,000. It slides in there without anything. It just perfectly fits it. So I'm gonna take a stick, a 10 foot stick of this, I'm going to weld this guy on the end of it, like that, and on the and bolt it to the concrete slab by the house, drill holes in, anchors, and then I'll make another tube like this that'll slide in the other end, and it's put a TV antenna on, because we don't have cable, we don't use satellite, we get off air, and streaming is all we do and the wife really likes watching the tv channels in the area so we have an antenna it's kind of cobbled on and i'm fixing it and getting a little higher so that's what this is all about be a real short one i think who knows see you on the flip side thanks for watching
So here you see this antenna pole. And I'm fabric cobbling together. I don't think anybody's, or I don't think I had any really good video of this welding table I made a few months ago. I took some pictures, but they're just like, just pictures. Not a lot of them. But it's actually made out of the same pipe. This stuff. I got a fence out there I made out of it. So anyhow, this piece you're looking at right here is the is the Oh well good. How about I shut that off? See I got the compressor right out to the back door and it when the door is open, it's noisy. Anyhow, that's that receiver tubing. And it's got a stick of this. So this is, the receiver's two inch ID, two and a half I, outer diameter. So it's quarter inch wall. This guy, it's it's not even 100,000, maybe it's 100,000, I don't know. 120, I think is what they call it. Anyhow, that's a 10 foot piece. Well, it just slides right out. I'm getting pretty close. And I don't want to fall out. Anyhow, back up. So, I know that that shop's from almost 18 feet long. This little, little baby shop. That's just one of the fingers. So, anyhow. Pretty nice, huh? This welding table, by the way, see this ram or, or rack slides out. I got it on tracks, it slides out. And the chop saw down there actually fits in a spot right there and it's level with the table. That's what I I built that in. Well, I just haven't been using a chop saw much later, later, you know, since then. Got all my welding shit down in there. All the bronze and the silver solder and the flux and the all the other bits and pieces. Anyhow, now I've just polished it all off. Now I gotta paint it. But first, I gotta drill a, a weep hole on the bottom so if any moisture gets in, it'll drain out. And then I gotta drill a hole through the other end that I can clamp the rod in with a hole when it slides all the way up. And uh, yeah. So a couple of holes and then I'll be painting. Catch you later.